this is a TT Combat Stroke Hawk War Games Shackleton Drop Pod for Drop Zone Commander. It doesn't fulfill the role of any particular unit as such. It's a, it's a collector's piece, but I think it's going to make an excellent general model. Uh, it's going to be an enjoyable model to, to, to look at, paint, but uh, also going to be really good. I can use that for scenarios, good enough, really good for scenarios and use it as an objective counter. So what you get in the, the packet, there we go, got it as part of a box. I'm sure there's a snazzy box for it somewhere, but I think show only, so I think it just comes in a cool little baggie. And you can always use a little baggie, can't you? So um, uh, you get the main body, there you go. These arches here, we get a little bit of flashing there. That's okay, we'll take that off in a little while. You can see the two little knobs there where the stuff might have been injected or however however such things are done. I, I don't know, I'm not an expert on making things. No, no, no. So you get that and you get the four oh, wings, air brakes, I guess you'd call those, wouldn't you? There you go, so you get those as well. So there we are. Um, that is quite a simple model. It's a good chunk of resin though. As I say, it's kind of a new, darker resin, possibly. Uh, so, so there we go. So I will... Put that together now. So here, commander is a real dilemma. So uh, I've cut the pieces out. Look, there's the the wing stroke air brake. Is that what it's called? People with greater aeronautical knowledge than I could tell me that. And uh, it fits rather neatly. Oh, take that bit of flash off. There we go. Fits rather neatly into this recess. That's really amazing. Look at that. It's nice. Oh, how good is that? So when I've done, when I've taken the flash off, off there, that'll fit even more nicely into there. Or I can have it open like so. Oh, there's a dilemma. I think I'm going to have them open, to be honest, because I think they look amazing like that. But just for, otherwise I've just got kind of a smooth tube. <laughs> it's not going to look that great, but it would. I think it would. It'd be nice to have even more of them and have, you know, some open, some close. I'm probably going to have them open because they'll look great for scenarios. <laughs> There we go. We finished Shackleton Escape Pod. You'd feel safe coming down from a ship, full speed in that, wouldn't you? You'd feel, you feel going nose first into that. You'd feel quite at ease, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't you, commanders? Maybe not. I don't know. He's also got these cool, what are those? They're like retro thrusters. So maybe you could do like a bit of a landing there maybe the retros you do like a little kind of st standard normal landing like so and just unload in an orderly fashion maybe that's how it's meant to work so either way uh, that way it also looks cool i think you're just smashing it into the ground <laughs> sound effect for free there and uh, maybe that's how it's meant to work. <laughs> one, one doesn't know, does one? And I think when I start playing those objectives, I think I think uh, uh, an unsecured and improper crash is how I will probably uh, deploy these. So that's great. So that's a Shackleton Escape Pod from TT Combat Stroke Hawk War Games 4 Drop Zone Commander. Brilliant. And it's full of us too. Yeah, you didn't know that. No. <laughs>